funny, everyone has built this sequence up into the untouchables. You know, action in and of itself is not that interesting to me. I'm the one who had Billy Bob go in and shoot up an entire building in which the camera never went inside. The scope and the scale of this season is much grander. Chicago offered a scope that we think is a part of the character of Fargo 4. One of the cool things about shooting in Chicago is that they've maintained this look. It's a big, wonderful cinematic scene of the old school type. I actually can't believe that we got to shoot at Union Station. It's one of those things that you write that you're like, well, they're never going to let us do this. Union Station is the fourth busiest station in the United States, and it oversees over 100,000 passengers uh, a day. And that's mostly during rush hours, which happens to be about the same time as our call time. So we're, we're rushing in at the same time everyone's rushing out. That's parking validations for over a thousand people. The Chicago Police Department is involved. Homeland Security is involved. So it takes a lot of coordination. The doors being so narrow because of the old architecture and kind of a challenge for us to get our techno crane in. We had to stop a train about five in the morning and then have the grips push the techno crane over the rails, under the station, up some ramps. It was, it was quite, it's quite the task. And outside, it's below zero. We're really, really happy that we're in here. I brought it up in a production meeting that it might be helpful for some of the ADs to also be dressed in period appropriate costumes so that they could give the cues while these long sequences of cat and mouse were happening. There's probably at least 150 extras here. Within there, we have sprinkled about a dozen stunt performers so we amp up the action when everything comes to a heightened sense. So not only were we dressing all of the hundreds of background head to toe with detailed perfection for close-up camera work and our stunt characters and our main cast, but we were also dressing the crew. So the entire cinematic production value is now squarely on the costume department. We're here for two days. Timothy was quite keen to do this gag himself. I believe he said that he had a friend, a fellow actor who had done this gag and died this way, and he was uh, itching at the opportunity to do it himself. So we will not be firing any live ammunition. Through modern day visual effects, we're able to add in quite convincingly muzzle flash, smoke, and when it's all layered in together with the actual photography, it's quite convincing. To be able to accomplish something of cinematic value of this nature and to really be telling this story here in Union Station, it's, it's quite remarkable. You're never sure if you're going to be able to shoot in any location. There's so much that goes into it. So to be at that stairwell where they shot in the Untouchables was incredible. It was a dream come true, really. Noah does not care about the rules of TV. And I think people respond to that drive to make something very specific yet universal. Themes and stories that are classic, but he's telling them with a kind of bend to them that we've never really seen before. You know, it's our way of looking at things that seem inevitable, that we know are coming, and how do you treat that cinematically in an interesting way. And it's not a twist for a twist's sake, it's driven by character.